This is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another book review. I just read Hanif Qureshi's The Nothing, and it's a rather short book, and it talks about this invalid. His name is Waldo, and his wife's name is Z. And from the title alone, I know it looks colorful, but don't be fooled by the title. It's actually very depressing. But rightly so, because, of course, Waldo can't really do much of anything. He's an invalid. And I had never really read a story like this before, but it prompted me to write a, a tale that's similar. But I'm not going to have an invalid. But even though it was depressed, somewhat depressed... Well, I, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. it. It was depressing. It, it was very tragic, very sad. Even though it had all those different aspects, it was still very intriguing to read because kind of like uh, a train wreck, you don't really want to look away. And the way that Hanif writes, he is very blunt and straightforward and he uses a lot of uh, profane language to describe just how rotten he feels. And it's it's warranted, actually. And despite the fact that it was very poignant... I really enjoyed reading it because he's very vivid and his language is very caustic and you can just tell that this is a man that's hurting and all he wants to do is to please his wife like he used to and that's no longer possible due to uh, what happened to him. I won't say what, but if you're interested in reading a book that is much different than what you're used to reading then I would definitely recommend the nothing if you want to be depressed then I if you are looking to be depressed then yeah this is definitely the right place to go but <laughs> if you don't want to be depressed then I wouldn't recommend reading it even I I picked it up just because I thought oh the title is very interesting it just it lured me and it's very voyeuristic too so that's why the that's why um the icons on the front are actually quite foretelling. But uh, I really can't say that much else about Qureshi's work. But it is very, very fascinating. And it's just a good look into psychology in and of itself. And sex. And just how... Um, how adults manipulate each other sometimes. And how ruthless they can be. <laughs> and you think... You're not acting very adult, are you? No, you're acting more like a crazy teenager with half a brain. But it, nonetheless, it is a very um, fascinating expose about how desire really plays into people's lives and um, trysts and all that sort of thing. And I'm not going to really go into all that because I'd rather you read the book and, and make your own opinion on it because I did and I will grant you that I really did enjoy the book because it's exceptionally written it's um different than from anything I'd ever come across before and it's written in the British way with the uh favorite being written f-a-v-o-u-r-i-t-e and other such examples like that but nonetheless, uh, Hanif, uh, give you the highest plaudits, and you really um, did not sugarcoat the existence of somebody who is hurting very badly and somebody who just wants to be loved, and I think we can all relate to that. So, until next time, live long and prosper. Ciao, tutti!